right, this will be your intro to trinomial factoring. So, our trinomials. First of all, it has to have three terms. Second, it has to go variable squared, variable to the first, constant. Now, we're going to start by doing the leading coefficient times the constant. And that's going to go in to the top. So 3 times negative 5, negative 15. <coughs> so I have to multiply to negative 15, and I have to add to the middle term of negative 2p. If you have to multiply to a negative, you need one positive and one negative. So what are factors of 15? 1 and 15. 3 and 5. Which ones are going to make 2? 3 and 5. And we need one of each sign, so it's going to be negative 5, positive 3. But I want to make negative 2p, so these are going to have p's behind them. These will take the place of our middle term. So we have 3p squared plus 3p minus 5p minus 5. Now we've changed it to a grouping problem. So what can I take out of 3p squared and 3p? 3p, I'll be left with p plus 1. What can you factor out of negative 5 and negative 5? Negative 5, you'll be left with p plus 1. These match, put them back together, so you have 3p minus 5 times p plus 1. Example 2. Once again, I'm doing the first term times the constant, so I have negative 18. If I'm going to multiply to a negative, I need a negative and a positive. And I need to add to the middle term, which is 3n. So you could have 1 and negative 18, you could have pos negative 1 and positive 18, you could have negative 9 and 2, 9 and negative 2, negative 3 and 6, negative 6 and 3. Which of those give you a positive 3 when you combine them? Negative 3 and positive 6. And we're going to put n because we're trying to make them make negative, make positive 3n. This right here is going to take the place of this. So my first term's not going to change. I'm going to have minus 3n, positive 6n, and then I have minus 9 on the end, and now I need to group. So 2n squared and 3n, I can factor out an n. I'll be left with 2n minus 3. 6 and 9, I can take out uh, 3. That will be 2n minus 3. Put them back together. So now we have n plus 3, 2n minus 3. And that's my final answer. Okay, example 3. 3 times 4 is 12, positive 12, and I need negative 8. If I multiply to a positive, I could have two positives or two negatives, but since I need to add to a negative, I need two negatives. So what multiplies to 12 and adds to 8? That would be 6 and 2. Since that's n, place an n, and that's going to take the place of the middle. So negative 6, negative 2 is still negative 8n, so you're not changing the problem. So we have 3n squared minus 6n minus 2n plus 4. Let's see what we can take out. So 3 and 6, I can divide by 3. n squared and n, I can take out 1n, so I'd be left with n minus 2. This sign needs to come out, so I'm going to take out a negative, and I can take out 2. Once again, I can divide. 
negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1n. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2, and you'll see these match. So my final answer is 3n minus 2, n minus 2. All right, final example. 5, multiply these, so 5 times 12, 60. And I need to add to 19n. Well, 60, 1 and 60, not going to work. And since these are both positive, I need two positives. 20 and 3 would make 23. 6 and 10 would make 16. 4, so I can do 4 and 15. Once again, put your variable behind. 4 and 15 make 19. These are going to take the place of your middle term. So you have 5n squared plus 4n plus 15n plus 12. Now I'm going to group. So 5n squared and 4n, I can take out an n, and I'll be left with 5n plus 4. Plus 15 and 12, I can factor out 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5n. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I would have n plus 3, 5n plus 4, and we are done. All right, we're going to be practicing this for the next few days. Thanks for watching.